Hey guys, Rafferty Pendry here. In this video, we're going to talk about the fact of who you listen to actually matters. Check it out. By the way, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's that little button with the thumb that points in the upward direction. I really appreciate it. Share it with anybody you think it can help. So I'm really picky about who I listen to. And, and one of the big gauges I look at when I'm figuring out, am I gonna listen to this person? Because a lot of people are really willing to share opinions who don't actually know what they're talking about. And some of the people who've had failures or losses on certain areas, they're more than willing to give you an opinion. And that's okay, that's their opinion. They, their view, their take, okay, cool, hey, good, that's, that's awesome. That just means I'm not gonna listen to that person when it comes to that thing, other than I can look at and learn from why they didn't succeed in something. When I'm trying to learn about a specific subject or area, for me, I look for people who have been really successful in doing that. And, and what it does is it takes out so much time of trial and error on your part. And so I look for people who are generally solution-oriented people, no matter what. I also look for people who are really good at connecting dots with reality and saying, no, 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 here is a practical thing. Like motivation is one side of things and, and it's real. Like it's helpful to have some motivation when you just need that pump, you know, to like get going and do something and push yourself. There is actual value in that, I think. But when it's all pump and no substance, it doesn't really work, you know? It's like, it's like having gigantic muscles that can't do anything for you. So when I'm looking at advice from somebody or learning from them, what I'm looking for is how do I apply whatever they're talking about? Like I need to be able to actually use it. So here's something you can actually do. Take a look at this quote. I wanna share this with you. Just because somebody gave a quote doesn't mean it makes any sense. I think this person gave false information. So here you go. And this is what he says. Teachers make the best entrepreneurs. The best innovators, fundraisers, and problem solvers are often found at the front of a classroom. I disagree. I think some of the best innovators, entrepreneurs, fundraisers, and problem solvers are found problem solving, innovating, entrepreneuring. That's my view. I'm not saying that all teachers are bad, but I'm telling you I've heard enough information from snippets of professors and college people and parts of classes and things like that. And that's also been relayed information that people were taught. I've looked through some, some of the texts and things like that. And I'm like, wow, what a false, crazy idea that this person just shared. And it has no connection to reality. It's not a, an actual basis in factor reality. So that view, that quote that this guy shared, I believe is a false idea. So who you listen to matters. And so then I go and dig into, well, what is the background of the people who are giving this information? Who are they? And it starts to tell me a lot about the information they give. And by the way, that doesn't mean everything this person says is wrong. It just means I always look at the information I'm given and I go, does this make sense to me? And then how can I apply it or actually use it? If it's not applicable where I can actually go and use it, I don't care. Like seriously, it doesn't matter. Theoretical is theoretical. That's great. Cool. Okay. I want to actually be able to use the information that I learned. And so here's one final like idea for you. This is going to sound like really crazy. Successful people have crazy ideas too. So even a person who's been successful doesn't mean that they're successful in every part of their life. Just because somebody is a millionaire or a billionaire doesn't mean that they have hiring and choosing good people figured out. They may not because they may have not been involved in that at all. Just because somebody is accurate in a whole bunch of things doesn't mean they're accurate in everything. Take all the information you receive and really look at it and go, does this make sense for me? Is this workable for me? Get past your own ego on it. Sometimes I've made assumptions and then held to those fixed ideas and was unwilling to even look at new information that I received. So I had to be willing to look at it and go, newly, now, right now, does this work for me, yes or no? And if the person really knows what they're doing and I go, you know what, I don't know totally. Sometimes I'll go and try it out and go, wow, that actually worked surprisingly. I wasn't expecting that to work. The main point here being who you listen to matters, the advice matters, and the fact that somebody is right a lot of the time that doesn't mean they're right all of the time. You don't need to agree with every single viewpoint of somebody just because you agree with the majority of their viewpoints and then just be aware of who you're taking advice from. It really does impact your life. If you do this, I really think you're gonna actually have a better time taking those steps forward. You're going to actually get results faster with what you learn. Thank you so much, guys. If you think this video helped, share it with somebody, like anybody. 
That would be super cool. It would help me out. It would help you out. It would help them out. It's like a win, 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 win. Yeah. All right. See you guys in the next one.